So, hi guys, welcome back. Today we're looking at GameStop, ticker symbol GME, uh, and why this company was up 57% in one day. Uh, the stock price as of right now is $31. Also, if you do enjoy, consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out a ton. If not, thanks for watching anyway. Uh, onto the video. So just about the company to begin with, uh, GameStop is an ele electronics and gaming merchandiser and it operates internationally with more than 55,000 stores in Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, and countries all over Europe as well. Um, since it operates as a retail company, its sales over the past two decades uh, have taken a massive hit as they keep losing market share to e-commerce. However, recently the stock has been trending higher and it has been trending higher all throughout 2020 uh, as they reinvent their company, shifting it from a retail company to more e-commerce based. Uh, throughout 2020, they closed down underperforming stores and invested very, very heavily into the e-commerce industry. Um, and it was vet, uh, and the public really liked it, and the stock was up more than five hundred and fifty percent over the past year, from about four dollars to about thirty dollars uh, over the last year. So, what has recently happened about this company? So, earlier this week on Monday, they released their holiday sales data, uh, and they showed a five percent revenue increase and three hundred percent more e-commerce sales. So this basically shows that their e-commerce plan is working and is gaining some good traction in the e-commerce market, uh, making them a very, very good player in the video game industry as you don't necessarily have a lot of e-commerce uh, platforms that have a video game uh, based uh, model. However, this e-commerce platform does, so it shows that it's gaining some good traction and kind of has its niche market of itself. Uh, RC Ventures, which is GameStop's largest investor, which is owns 13% of GameStop, uh, increased its share in the company and has added three of their own board of directors onto the company um, to aid the company and the three new directors have expertise in e-commerce, online marketing, finance and strategic planning um, and they will continue to serve on GameStop's board until June until the shareholders meeting. Um, the retailer has also talked about the 5% increased revenue and 300% more uh, com e commerce sales and talked about unprecedented demand for new gaming consoles from Microsoft and Sony um, as the reason of their big sales lift. And I will take this as a good trend because uh, a lot of these good companies are really focusing on this and it looks like it might have a good future as well. Uh, they've also been accentuated by the fact that they were short sellers. So what recently happened was the stock price went really, really high because of this very, very good news. Um, and on top of this, many short sellers believe that the stock would continue to trend downwards and try to short sell the stock, uh, stock. And because they are selling it at a higher price, the stock price keeps going higher and higher. So that's basically what GameStop is doing. Uh, that's basically why the stock price was up 57%. So what you can do with this information uh, is you can wait for the stock to drop before buying if you do believe this is a good company to invest in in the future. Personally, I would not recommend it. However, if you do believe, you can invest. Uh, wait for the stock to, uh, to drop before selling a put option. So here you can make some uh, good premium from selling the put. And uh, because you wait for the stock to drop and you'd assume the stock would come back higher once it's dropped, uh, if it is exercised, you can always buy it at a, a discount to what the stock price would be currently uh, or the stock price in the future. So that would be a good option. Uh, you could wait for the stock to buy uh, before buying a call. So what you would do is wait for the stock to drop to maybe, let's say it's currently $32 or $31. You wait for it to drop to about 26 you can buy a call for a whole year um, and because the stock price would no doubt go up in the next year or so, uh, you could buy it now and then uh, the value of the option will increase by the time it was next year and then you can sell it off for a very, very high return on investment and that would be a good move that you could make. Um, another price, uh, another thing that you could do is short sell the stock on the current price and hope for the price to drop and then uh, execute uh, basically buying the stock at a lower price and selling it at a high price. However, this is probably the riskiest of all of the options so far because there's no guarantee that the stock price will drop. Also, as we just, uh, as I explained previously, uh, when the stock price goes higher, there are a lot of short sellers and because of that, it pushes the stock price even higher. So if a lot of other people are planning to short sell the stock, uh, it might uh, choose, uh, it might lead the price to go even higher and that wouldn't really work if you short sell because you would be ending up buying the stock at a higher price and selling it at a lower price leading to a loss. So that's probably the riskiest option, but it also has the quickest return on invest, uh, the quickest and highest return on investment. So if you are uh, 
if you do want to take the risk, it can be used to make a good amount of money, especially because this stock uh, has gone up 550% in the last year or so. Uh, so there's obviously going to be a, uh, like a rebound downwards over the next few months. Uh, if you currently have the stocks, you can buy a put at the current price. So you can sell it at a higher price should the price drop almost as like a safety uh, thing. Um, and because of that, if you want, you could also sell it at a higher price and buy it again at a lower price. So you get double profit from that. Um, what I am doing and what I suggest most of you guys to do is ignore the movement and move on. Because I don't believe that this stock's e-commerce will is as strong as people believe it is. Um, and there's nothing stopping from Amazon or eBay or companies such as that to simply coming in and just starting selling game stops, uh, games online as well. Uh, especially with people more and more focusing on saving time, uh, e-commerce. It's very difficult to become a very large player in the e-commerce field. So I would suggest ignore the move, uh, the movement and move on. Um, that's what I'm doing. But once again, it's your decision at the end. And if you do decide to make your own decision, always do your own due diligence. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.